Jana Benova from Slovakia seeing people off. Jana, congratulations. Um, so with this wonderful prize also comes a financial reward. Yes. Um, can you tell us what you're going to do with yours? You know, one summer evening I received two emails. One was that I've got this prize and the second one was the invitation for two and a half months to the United States for international writing program. And the next day, when I went to my work, they told me that they are not feel like give me three months non-paid holidays. So I just quit the job. <laughs> so, so in my thank you. In my case, the, this prize helped me to uh, encourage me to quit the job, go to United States, and last but not least, to return home to Europe. So, thank you. Is there anyone else, is there anyone else you'd like to thank? I would like, I would like to thank the European Union and also I would like to thank 30 writers from all around the world who were with me in this international writing program. And after they noticed that I have got this prize after Frankfurt, um, they made for me really wonderful, opulent and decadent party. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jana. The, the town, the city of Bratislava, is a very powerful element in this story. Can you tell us a little bit more about the location of the novel? Uh, the city Bratislava is maybe uh, one character in this book, in this novel, and especially then one place called Petržalka. Uh, it's a uh, blocks of flats um, behind the Danube, and. It's, it was built in the 70s and it's, there are a lot of different people who live in a uh, one or mm, who live in a flat and there are very thin walls so you can hear like somehow like some broadcasting from your neighbors from up and mm, from all the walls so you can listen what is going on in all those other apartments. Sometimes you really would prefer to do not. <laughs> Most of what I write is um, about myself, but um, I never write anything autobiographical, really. But I lived here more than 10 years, uh, so I really um, get known this area very well. But I was grown up uh, as a child in a very different part of Bratislava, and for me, this part, Petržalka, was something very scary. So when I moved there, I was surprised that I was so brave, really. <laughs> it's a love story and I, I don't, maybe it's not that she's trying to help him, but they simply try to survive there. And this place is, you can really feel like it's slowly destroying, you know, relationships and all nice mm, feelings and things which you can have because we are, when you are uh, disturbing all the time from the other people, you really cannot live your life, you know, so somehow it's like a kind of exercise, like Zen or yoga, but of course mm, black Zen or black yoga, yes. I look forward that my book maybe uh, will be translated because of the because the, the part of the prize is that it helps to um, do translation into other languages. So I, I hope so because I think that's that's very important. <laughs> <laughs>